eighteen dollars. It was twelve dollars the last time I went over it. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Welcome to Boston. It's my birthday. Mm. Swanky digs, man. Swanky digs. Word. Word. Do you like the anchors? I love the anchors. Okay. <laughs> Beer is what I always think. Revolution is probably the smarter answer. Uh, the top four things I always hear are number one, that he was a brewer because uh, Boston Beer Company, which makes them out, claims that he was. Number two, that he was a patriot because most people are missing with the revolution. Number three, that he hated taxes because people were in the notion of no taxation and representation. And number four, that he was a regular Jew, just one of us standing up for the little guy. For those four points, I got four answers, guys. Number one, he was never a brewer. He was a failed malter. He was entirely accepted the process and a job that his daddy got him that he sucked at. <laughs> but those who say he was a patriot, I would say absolutely. I would also call him a rabble rouser or a firebrand, a guy who liked to uh, start fights and make sure he was nowhere near the fights once they actually got to uh, another marketplace for the county population, which is the area around us right now. This is called Quincy Market. And Quincy Market, just like Banyan Hall, was also a colonial marketplace and is also a national historic landmark. Which is why it's so cool that our first beer is going to be inside this national historic <laughs> landmark, right? We're going to be here at Georgia Park, and as you see on the young, this is south where we were born. And they tell no lies because they were established in 1826. So we're gonna go to a bar that predates the American Civil War by a couple of decades. Yeah, like a good little... <laughs> the best fucking cornbread mm. of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Never gonna do it. And here's our and here's our UK buddy. Enjoy it. That's for our cornbread. After that.
Yep, this you on um, Union Street right over here. Yep, exactly. That over there. This building over here was actually built uh, 17th century, which is pretty crazy. This was uh, owned by John Hancock himself. This is the Ebenezer Hancock Home. is also a national historic landmark. It's also pretty cool. Uh, our next bar is going to be the point right over here to our right. So their bars are going to be older, okay? But, 1795. But, typically the way it works is they closed down at one point, restarted. This is the oldest drinking establishment in America in that it's never closed its doors since it's opened in 1795. Even during Prohibition, they find a way to still serve alcohol. Other places, like the Warren Tavern here in Boston from 1780, Typically, we're a tavern for a time, we're closed down, turn to something else, and then we're restarted as the I'm business. thinking of McSorley. Exactly. Stuff exactly like that. Uh, but this is a great location at the House Ale here. It's going to be the Bell and Hand Ale, which of course is exclusive without nowhere else in the world. I really, really recommend it. It's a really great beer. <laughs> Cheese stick things. This is a little street. She thinks it's cute. Look, all the streets were that size at one time. All the streets. They, all the streets. They all were the streets. All that size. Only the horses and the carriages could go. Yeah, but can you stop looking at the fuzzy and look at the lens? I can't see myself in the lens because the fuzzy's in the way. You're still looking at the screen. And I'm look, the I, no, I try to look at the lens. I've been look looking at the lens. lens. I have. I've Just been good. The lens. Come on. This reminds me of my favorite um, in Baltimore. Your favorite turkey? No, my favorite street corner in Baltimore. What's that? The one with the mermaid. You're a mermaid. I am a mermaid because my thighs touch. Well, a little better, whatever. <laughs> Listen, until you like mermaids, we're off the table. You're a chicken mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> 